Hey YouTubers, in today's video we got a older, probably 18-20 year old Hunter Green nylon carpet. It's showing a lot of wear in the traffic patterns. You can see there, all the way down through the hallway, in and around where the beds were. We're doing three bedrooms, the closets, the hallway, the living room dining room and one thing you'll notice as I go through there's paint all over and this is something that uh, you you got to educate your customers about paint is not an easy fix you know you have to spray it blot it spray it blot it sometimes use a blunt object on it just kind of backside of a spoon so <clears throat> when somebody like in this case this gentleman bought this home to renovate it he's going to use it as a income property which is fine but he went ahead and he sprayed the walls or painted the walls and the walls and the baseboards look fantastic but you can actually get your walls looking great and then have to replace the carpet or the flooring and that's not uh, cost effective and it's not cheap <clears throat> excuse me so we're going to go through and pre-vacuum everything you do need to set the expectations with your clients if you're in this type of industry let them know right up front just like i did you know i checked the the fiber to make sure this is all uh, nylon it's got a nice padding underneath and then as I saw just multiple, multiple stains from the paint, I asked him, you know, is, is this, most paints these days, when, you know, I say I asked him, I asked, is this a water-based latex paint or is it an oil-based paint? They usually don't use much oil-based paints these days. I forget what they call it nowadays. The new stuff, I think that Bear or Briar, they have a, they call it Arkid or Akid or something, which it, it's like oil-based paint, but it, it actually is more like a water base. So not to get too in far depth into that. If you're a painter, chime in. You probably know what I'm talking about. Let us know what uh, the paints are that they're using for house household painting. Even the most careful painter sometimes will put down their cloth or paper and still accidents will happen but in this case it's just total neglect the customer this is the first time i guess his first rental home so he went and just painted and there's just splatters everywhere you could see under the sliding door and like i said it's not an easy process to get out you can treat it with several different things some people will use goof off acetone ammonia uh, there's tons of different stuff that you can get. There's even a goof off has its own latex paint remover. But I've found over the years that whatever you use, you're going to use a lot of it. So if you spend five, six dollars on a small uh, quart of the latex paint remover by goof off, one spot could take half that bottle. So, like I said, you want to set the expectations. I let the client know we are here to clean the carpets. And paint removal is a specialty procedure, and there's really no guarantee. And it's tedious. It takes a lot of time. So, if you want to pay for us to stay and remove all these paint stains, you're going to get charged by the hour. And with a crew of two, it can be very expensive. So... What I recommended was maybe get a little nail polish remover, um, have your kids or your wife or yourself just go through once everything's been cleaned, use a cotton ball and put the, the acetone or the nail polish remover on there and just gently go over the surface, blot it up, do spot by spot. So you could see here we pre-scrubbed everything. I did pre-treat the paint spots I used I ha, I'm using green dragon and simply citrus simply citrus is an oil-based 
all natural product delaminine and sometimes that that will help break up the paint as well i did end up getting a trigger sprayer and adding a little bit probably about six ounces of straight clear ammonia to the water and simply citrus uh, orange oil and that seemed to loosen up the spots or the paint a little better with the ammonia and ammonia again it's pungent smell it's inert so it'll it'll dissipate as it dries and leave no residue but like i said you cannot guarantee the paint so there's the mixture which i used two ounces of green dragon per gallon of water and i put a half an ounce of simply citrus the orange oil per gallon of water we scrubbed it with a red pad and now we're using brand new iron man pads that i got and here's the final results it looks beautiful i sure wish the paint wasn't there but i'm sure this gentleman now knows in the future hey a what do they say a pound of prevention is worth a pound of cure something to that effect anyway i appreciate you watching and i'll see you in the next one